here's the analog solutions LFO2 module and I'll start by going through the features. I'm taking the triangle output into an oscillator's FM input so we can look at the speed, the LFO operates at and the depth control. The depth control is really useful as it saves using attenuator modules. And the LFO does go really slow right up through into audio rates. There's two outputs of the triangle which again is useful as it saves using splitters or multiples. And there's also a square output with its own level control. Here I'll use the LFO2 for some pulse width modulation. So turning up the triangle depth, this is going into an oscillator's pulse width modulation and you can hear that start to take effect. So I'll add a sequence to the oscillator providing the pulse now and because of the size and features of the LFO2 it's really nice to get your hands in and jam around on that speed and depth. Expanding this patch further, here's some filter movement with an envelope and some modulation on the filter. So now I'm going to use the LFO2 to create some retro arcade gaming 8 bit style trills. Using the square wave from the LFO2 into an oscillator's FM input, we can get these rapid siren style trills on the oscillator's pitch. So now I'll add a sequence to the oscillator and some filter modulation and start to play around with the patch. In this final patch I'm going to use the LFO2 to move some filters around and create some phaser style movement. Here I've got the pulse out on a Dixie oscillator into a filter and I'm going to use the triangle out of the LFO2 into the pulse width modulation. Adding a second filter into the patch, I'm going to take the saw wave from the same oscillator up into a Polyvox filter clone and take the second triangle out of the LFO into the CV and the Polyvox filter which is in bandpass mode and then add that down and mix this into the first filter. To get more outputs from the LFO2 and the triangle waves, I'm going to use the analog solution splitter cables and take one split into the bandpass filter and CV the frequency cutoff and the other into the main filter CV input. So the LFO2 from Analog Solutions is a nice simple module, it's a sort of bread and butter utility that you want to dot around the system. The independent depth control for the triangle and the square is a nice addition as it saves using attenuator modules and means you've got more control for modules that don't have CV input attenuators. For more information head to analogsolutions.com and for more videos from me head to youtube.com forward slash divkidvideo.